Hey guys, it is 20,900 miles on my Chevy Velt, 10th month of ownership. I've been flying a lot to San Jose and Northern California to tour and have some fun and also study as well. I went to Lake Berryessa and saw the morning glory. This was awesome. It's basically an overflow uh, for the reservoir over there over in Lake Berryessa where they used to collect the water. Uh, it's a huge reservoir that California, it's very hard to see because usually you don't, California doesn't have that much water, so it's great to see. If you're ever up there, go see it. I've been really wanting to take my Chevy Volt RVing, and I want to convert it into an RV, kind of like this band I saw up there in Northern California. When I got back, I noticed that my car had a lot of dust. I, I usually check my car every month for oil and levels and fluids and everything else like that, and I noticed there's a lot of cobwebs growing in the back of the of the um, engine compartment, as well as the front and other weird crevices of the engine. Normally I don't see this when, you know, with my normal car, like my Civic and stuff, or my Accord, but, you know, since I don't use the engine very often, probably only once every, I don't know, 500 miles or so, you know, it does, you know, checking the oil and stuff, it doesn't really turn on very often. So, making sure the fluids are all there, I just realized there's a lot of um, dusting I have to do for those cobwebs. And there's a lot of dust that accumulated in LA. I've been just driving up, you know, LA and stuff. And the dust, brake dust, and other weird dust that's been here, it's just covering everywhere in the engine compartment. Flying to Vegas, you know, the next week, you know, it was um, over to the NEB show. And it was pretty awesome with the VR technology and everything else. Of course, Las Vegas was really cool. There was plenty of food, buffet food. And yummy, yum, yum, a lot of um, stuff, as well as the NAB show, which had a lot of VR and other broadcasting stuff. That was really cool. Prime rib and all the other fun stuff to eat. Really do love Vegas because of the food um, and the buffets. But when I was borrowed the 2017 uh, Corolla rental car, I wanted to put a phone in there. So I just dropped by 9 cent store and bought myself one of these universal air mounts, air vent mounts, and it was pretty awesome. There it is. I just got my phone up there. It was very useful and I could use the maps and everything. But I wanted to do the same thing for my Chevy Volt, so I went, by the time I got home, I ordered um, a one of those joint magnetic mounts, which I thought was really cool, because I was reading about that as well. And it mounted pretty well, but I was dumb enough to put it right on top of the screen where it basically conducted. Uh, so another problem was that the mount, the adhesive, um, 3M adhesive, didn't really stick. So I basically used some super adhesive 77 and glued a plate onto the back of my cell phone, and I decided to also move that ball. But even before using the dental floss, you know, the mount was actually pretty weak, um, the, the adhesive. So it came off pretty much on the third day. I didn't really need to use very much force on, on that dental floss. It just came right off. Uh, so I don't know if it's any good. So I returned it. And I got this black one, the smaller one. It even cost about, you know, 80% less. It was only 7 bucks, And it's a smaller base, so it fits even better uh, between the uh, back button and the screen. And it doesn't isn't conductive because it has a plastic base. So I hope this one lasts and just for fun I just took off you know the old uh, sticker on the thing on those other ones and they're all the same. They're all the same backing. So there you go. Cell phone mount to the Chevy Boat. Very cool. Anyways guys thanks a lot for your time and watch, like, subscribe, comment. Thanks a lot for your comments. I'll see you next time. Bye.